jump in a boat, experience the sensation of feeling the water moving underneath you, the peacefulness out on the water. Uh, it's something that it's very hard to explain how good it is. So my classification is PR1. So we're, we're actually the highest impaired classification. So we're a fixed seat boat uh, and we're strapped in. So we're mainly spinal cord injuries in the category and we don't have use of our legs. Back in 2010, I was the high performance manager of Rowan Queensland at the time and Eric had just transitioned out of wheelchair basketball and he wanted to give rowing a go. My previous role before that was also head coach of the Great Britain para rowing team. I was fortunate enough to coach uh, Tom Agger there who won a gold medal and was quite dominant and uh, Eric came up to me the first time I met him and, and said um, I want to I want to beat Tom Agger. Um, how do I do it? So um, that told me all I needed to know, that he was quite dogged and very determined um, as far as an athlete's concerned. It wasn't my choice, the switch uh, from wheelchair basketball to rowing. It was basically a case of thank you very much, position in the teams no longer, and I wanted to get to London. And Talent ID officer Chris Nunn down in Canberra, come up to me afterwards and said, look, what do you want to do? You can do hand cycling or rowing. And it basically come down to, I tried hand cycling and then tried rowing. I thought, well, how hard can it be? It's a thousand meters at that stage. The pictures they showed me look really nice. So yeah, it's like 35 kilometer race or a 1K race. And I went, mm, I'll go with the 1K. One door closed, one door opened and rowing's now taking me all around the world. And certainly, um, made me the person I am today. Yeah, the transition uh, back to QAS has gone unbelievably well. Uh, with all the staff and all the other athletes, they've certainly made me welcome and it's great to be back home. Uh, some of the equipment modifications that we have on his boat is that we he has pontoons on the side of his boats just to increase the stability. We've moved his gates inward so that he can row a longer arc. Um, so that's made some adjustments to his rigger. We've also made him a, a specialised seat that's moulded to him specifically and he rows with shorter oars as well given that he rows with a longer arc. So there's actually quite a few modifications that we've made to his boat that are prescribed by World Rowing but also what we have, have done as far as a performance benefit for him is concerned. The goals this year has changed a lot from previous years. We're really focusing on the, the World Championships. A lot of the other stuff is just stepping stones. And so the World Champs are the, the big one because that's qualifying for Paris. Um, so that's our main goal at the end of the year. So everything else is just a small stepping stone. I honestly think that um, nothing's not possible. As a person with a disability, it doesn't matter what, what it is. Have a go. You hop on the boat, you push away from the pontoon, you're away from the wheelchair. It's one of the only sports, apart from swimming sort of thing, that uh, if you are wheelchair bound, you aren't actually pushing an object. Um, so it's that whole thing of being out on the boat, just out in the elements like everyone else. And it doesn't really matter if you, you've got a disability or not. It's, it's just unbelievable being out there early in the morning, seeing the sunrise and just, Having fun.